Welcome to Analytics with Max. In this video, we are going to see about um, visual decomposition tree in Power BI. Usually, I'm not so focusing on uh, visuals, but uh, this is really a cool future. Like it, it, it contains some kind of uh, AI future that enabled me to uh, do this video. So, if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button to learn the concepts in Power BI. Let's jump into a demo. So we are familiar with this uh, dashboard like um, uh, we are analyzing uh, item amount or uh, that is sales amount across different dimensions. This is one way of viewing um, um, dashboard and it looks like a dynamic and people can analyze it. What happens, I want to view this item amount first I, by location. In this, I want to view by category, order type, and location, and which is high, which is low. More onto self-servicing and kind of AI capabilities. For that, I can go for a new visual called decomposition tree. Let us move on to new page and click on this visual. Let us try to see what happens here so this is the decomposition tree and there are two fields that you need to focus on one is analyze analyze what you want to analyze and explain by explain by what it has to be explained i mean different uh, dimensions you want to explain it let us try to analyze our same uh, sales amount that is item amount i want to analyze and uh, by i want to analyze by item name I want to analyze by order type, I want to analyze by uh, location, I want to analyze by category name. Let us have all these things over here. Okay, now when you see here, as soon as you added uh, this explained by, there will be a one plus symbol over here. Let, let us zoom in and I can increase the size, I will tell the properties. Now, uh, whatever order you are choosing it over here, right? Item name or order type, that doesn't matter. You can immediately go to category name. So category name wise, people can analyze. And from here, I can choose the item name or I can go by each category. What is my uh, location? So this is really cool. Like, uh, uh, let us go here. This is uh, more or less kind of, you cannot change it uh, when it is published. Like, uh, whatever hierarchy you define, say for example, initially you are seeing in location and category and item over here. And whatever order, you cannot change it. First, you need to see the category. Then you need to go drill down to see the item name. This is fixed. But here, uh, even though you add some kind of explain by, you can switch between the order. Either you can go by location or item name, or it can be any order type that can be possible. One of the coolest feature I like most is like, you can see, choose the high value. Just press on this, the AI capability automatically picks up from that perspective for this, uh, which category, I mean, from this list, which is having the highest value that will be brought in. So based on the on shop, it is highest and it has brought you that category over here. Even here, here you can say low value. Then here, this is pointing to here. It can be high value or low value. So in this on shop, uh, the which is the highest value generator for cash flow here. In this on shop, the jeans lega is the lowest value. So this kind of uh, high and lowest values, you can be able to analyze it here. Now this analysis I don't want from this uh, on shop and off shop. Then go by location. Or uh, in this on shop, uh, which location is uh, showing? I mean location. And uh, here you can see a uh, low value of uh, which item, okay? In this Chennai, this is having a low value. When you immediately click on Bangalore, so jeans lega again, it is a low value. Uh, so everywhere it is uh, jeans lega. So instead, I can uh, go for high value of item name. So jeans Levis is highest. So he here also jeans Lewis. In some cases, it will be changing, but uh, based on the data, uh, it is same. Okay, based on the data, so it is dynamic. Everything you can see this root is pointing to high, high value, and here it is uh, again. This is the one. 
okay so uh, these kind of uh, capabilities you can see it in um, uh, decomposition tree that is really cool the people can do real self-servicing bi in this and uh, some of the properties uh, you can change it here like um, uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, other uh, properties you can change uh, color uh, so uh, this will be appearing and uh, something over here positive or negative bars then category label just uh, increase the size so now it will be really good looking so <coughs> these are uh, default options that that is available uh, for uh, i mean like any other uh, visual right uh, so uh, this is really cool feature like um, you can analyze a single particular measure in different uh, perspective or um, different uh, analysis that's real self-servicing bi you can do in this decomposition tree if you like this video hit the subscribe button and comment below for your queries do remember that data is your asset